In this video, we're going to go over how to use our Rose online ordering system. So you can see I'm on the Order Now page, and you'll see a couple different links here. One for downloading Rows for Windows, the other for downloading Rows for Macs. I am on a Windows computer, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this link. And I'm also using Chrome, and the way Chrome does downloads like this is it puts them down on the bottom left-hand corner. And you see it's already done downloading launch.msi. It's a pretty small file. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now it's going to begin the install process. I'm going to go ahead and click on Install. And now it's already installed Rose. That was super quick. And then you can see launch rows, launch QPrints rows once I click on finished. And now the Rose system is going to come up. Might take a couple more seconds. There's another file it needs to download once you get to there. And now you can see this is our Rose ordering system. When you first launch Rose, you'll be on our start page. And you can see there's some links up here where you can go quick link to the order history, the shopping cart, order prints, or go back to the start screen. On the start screen, you'll see the three main services that we offer, the 70 cent 8 by 10s and luster, 70 cent 8 by 10s and glossy, or the pro luster prints from 4 by 6 up to 12 by 18. I'm going to go ahead and click on the 70 cent 8 by 10s on luster, and now I'm in the 70 cent 8 by 10 luster catalog. There's nothing in here other than 70 cent 8 by 10s. In the future, there might be some other options we'll add in here, but for now, that's all there is. So on the left is where all your products would be. There's just the one, the 70 cent 8 by 10s It's already selected. There's a little help image down here below it. If you want to see that, it just has some basics of how the Rose system works. In the middle is where you're going to work on your image, and this is proportional to the size it's selected, which is 8 by 10. On the right is where you're going to load your images. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this green button at the top here, and then I'm going to browse out to where my images are. And what you want to do is load the folder. That's what Rose is going to do. You can go into the folder and choose an image, but it's still going to load all of them. And if you're on a Mac, once you get to here, you'll be stuck. It won't let you to use just one image. It wants the folder. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the prints folder and open that up. You can see they loaded up on the right hand side. There's a little slider down at the bottom if you want to make them larger or smaller. And then all you do is take an image. I'll highlight this one and then you click and drag it into the middle. Once you get into the middle, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out, and then if you click and hold, you can drag that image around to crop it. So if your images haven't been cropped, this is, this is really an easy way to go ahead and crop them the way you would like them to be. If you've already cropped your image to the size you're ordering, then you just drag it in and then change the quantity down here, say we want 100, and then click Add to Cart. That will clear the middle part so you can order the next one. If you're done, you would just go to the View Cart page, double check what you did. You can change the quantity here again if you want. And then if you need to leave us a note, you can click on this checkbox to enable instructions, and you can type in some instructions there. If you have a job reference or a job name you'd like to have on there, that helps us identify the order sometimes. You can do that. And I'll go ahead and unclick that. And then if your images need some color correction, you might want to choose this color correction per image for 20 cents each. That's per image. So you'll notice on this order of 108 by 10s, it's all of the same image. It's only going to add 20 cents to the order. If there were 100 different ones, then it would be $20, 100 times 20 cents, one for each image. But this one just has the one, so you can see the total price up here is $70.20. If you're done there, you can go ahead and check out. And then here you're just going to fill in your contact information, click next, and then you'll be asked for your credit card information. So I'm not going to go over that, that's pretty simple. And we'll go back to the Rose system and do something a little more complicated. So we'll go back to the order print screen. I'm still in the 70 cent 8 by 10 luster. If you have a whole bunch of files, you can also right click on one of them and then do select all. And then you can drag all of these in all at once. And it's going to say, do you want to add these images as six in prints? That's the folder that they're from in the 8x10 luster size, each with a quantity of one. If you wanted more than one, you could go ahead and fill in the quantity down here before you dragged them in, and then they would all get whatever that quantity is. So if you click yes here, it's going to automatically load all of those in. One thing to note if you do that is that it center cropped them. You didn't notice how you didn't get a chance to work on any of them. So if you go back to the view cart page, you could see here, they all look like they're cropped okay, but let's say you wanted to crop it a little bit differently. There's an edit button here, click on that. Now it's back in here where you can edit it. And then say you like it that, like that, you can click on save. And then anytime you do this, always go back to the view cart button. 
I've noticed sometimes that if you don't immediately go back to the view cart page that you might have some trouble when you go to the next one. So you can go back to the order prints page if you want to and if you got one in here that you don't want you can just highlight and click delete and let's see. So if you're just ordering 8x10s there's not a lot more to it that's about that's about all there is. Now we can also go back and choose a different catalog the Pro Lustre Prints catalog and you notice here when you do that it'll say if you change catalogs your current order will be lost. Do you wish to continue? You would not want to do that if you'd already built an order and you wanted to order it. We don't allow you to order from more than one catalog at a time. So if you wanted some luster prints and some glossy prints, for example, you would make more than one order, one for each different catalog. I'm going to go ahead and press yes because I'm just doing this as an example. And now you can see we're in the Pro Luster Prints catalog. And if you go back up here and look at the shopping cart, it's back to zero. There is nothing in the shopping cart. So if you're ordering the Pro Luster Prints, there's more than one size available. So it's not starting out as an 8x10, sort of starting out with this little help image. You can notice over here on the left, there's lots of different sizes to choose from, from 4x6 up to 12x18. Uh, we'll just go ahead and choose 11x14 here, and then it's the same thing. Although you'll notice that over on the right, I did the select all before. To get rid of that, you right click on one of them and then do select none, and now none of them are selected again. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this image, drag it in, and zoom in with the scroll wheel, move it around by clicking and holding and dragging, and then same thing, add to cart. And you'll see whenever you add something to the cart, it'll have a little cart icon above the thumbnail on the right to help you know that you've already ordered it. So that's about it for ordering in our Rose online ordering system. If you have any questions at all or have any trouble, please give us a call.